welcome back to my channel. So today I have this amazing Elsa inspired Halloween look and I thought I would do this for you guys because I'm obsessed with Elsa. Frozen in general is one of my favorite movies. So obviously the wig is just a mess and you'll see that in the video that it just doesn't go as planned but I thought I would put this together because of this beautiful dress I thought it was so beautiful this dress is my friend's dress that she found at a thrift store and I'm in love with it and it just reminds me of Elsa so I asked her if I could wear it and she said of course because she's so sweet so this is what inspired me to do this Elsa look to begin, we want to start moisturizing, and this is the Clinique Moisturizer from Sephora. To mattify your face, you want to go in with any primer that you'd like. I'm going in with the Lorac Pro uh, Sensitive Primer, and I find this actually makes my foundation last all night, which is good for Halloween. And then taking the lightest concealer, because I'm a little too dark to be Elsa, so we're going to lighten up the skin tremendously. So Elsa has a very, very pale skin, so I'm taking this extremely light foundation that I have no idea where I got because clearly way too light for my skin tone, and putting that all over the face like I usually put foundation on, but I put extra on. Like I go in with this foundation two or three times. Because Elsa is the Ice Queen, we want to make sure that her face is nice and highlighted and bright. And after you put a lighter concealer underneath your eyes, you just want to go over your face with the Laura Mercier powder. I love this stuff. It just gives you a nice illuminizing finish. And then going in with contour, I decided to carve out Elsa's face a little more just because she does have a thinner structure than my face. So I kind of went a little heavy on the contour. As for blush, I wanted to keep it very simple, so I chose this mauve color from Tarte and put that on the apples of my cheeks. Like I mentioned before, Elsa is the ice queen, so we need to make her very bright. And this is the Illuminizing Highlighter from Becca, and it's an opal, and I go crazy with this product. For Halloween especially, you want to make sure that your eye makeup lasts all night, so take a concealer consistency for your eye primer so it lasts much longer and does not crease. And I'm going in with this ColourPop color, which will be listed down below, and putting that all over my lids. For my lids and on my brow bone, I decided to go in with this very light white slash yellow color just to set it like, you know, like snow, I don't know, I thought it was really pretty, and to brighten up the eye. And then of course I'm going in with a beautiful cobalt blue for the crease and then later on going in with a darker blue to kind of cut the crease and make that V shape to um, add a little bit more definition to the eye. By the way, this is the Smashbox Little Black Book palette. It has so many colors. I'm not being sponsored. I got this not too long ago. I believe it was during the holidays last year, but I'm just obsessed with these colors. So pigmented and so beautiful. And I wanted to also mention that you need to blend extremely well, especially with darker and brighter colors. As I mentioned, you want to go in with a darker blue, I apologize for the blurriness, and you just want to put that in the crease and in the outer V, just to, again to add that definition. I think it just opens up the eye and makes it a little more dramatic. Thank you. 
So I know Elsa doesn't have that strong or dark of makeup, but I just wanted to run with this inspired look and really make it my own. I love winged eyeliner, so I wanted to make a really dramatic eye. But girl, does she have brows. So I kind of went a little darker on the brows because she just has these very beautiful, prominent brows. I feel like she's like a real person. It's so funny. And I fill those suckers in. As you know, I do have a scar on the left eyebrow, which is so hard for me to cover, but I did my best. Now for the fun part, this wig was so cheap and so ratchet that I tried to make it work and you know next time I know better not to buy a $10 wig at the fabric store but basically I just do a really sloppy braid and you know you just gotta make things work, you just gotta go with the flow. And Elsa's lips are just always so glossy, so add a little bit of lip gloss and call it good. I had so much fun filming this for you guys, getting the fabric and all the fun wigs and makeup. I just really like doing this stuff. So if you guys want another tutorial, let me know what you want to see next, and I will try my best to recreate it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!